The British Prime Minister Theresa May is taking questions in Parliament as we speak. She had asked lawmakers to hold their nerves for the Brexit deal that is acceptable to all. Opposition, however, alleges that Theresa May is trying to buy time so that lawmakers are left with two options, to either support her deal or leave the European Union without a deal. Now, the Prime Minister is also under fire from lawmakers after her top Brexit aide, who overheard talking, uh, were talking about plans to offer last-minute choices to MPs between May's deal and uh, a long delay as well. Listen in. It's entirely right and proper that this government is taking the action necessary to ensure that should we sit... Uh, it's not our policy to have a no-deal, it is our policy to get a deal. But should we be in that no-deal situation, we need to ensure we have the capacity we need, and that's exactly what we're doing. Mr. Speaker, Mariam is just six months old. She's beautiful. She was recently diagnosed with a devastating form of muscular dystrophy. Her half brother had the same condition and died. And Mandy Clark, my colleague, is now joining us live from London for the very latest on, of course, uh, Theresa May's. Uh, well, she's still in that, the middle of that Brexit deal. And Mandy, what's happening in Parliament today? We believe that she's under fire again uh, for, well, delaying, uh, using this as possibly a delaying tactic. That's what the opposition is saying. Well, the opposition has long accused her of that. She's always denied it. But the, the really damaging thing is apparently a uh, British uh, TV reporter was in the same bar as one of her aides who openly were talking to a, a number of colleagues in Brussels and he literally said she's either going to present her deal or she's going to offer uh, delaying Article 50 and a lot of Brexiteers do not want that because they feel like this is delaying the inevitable and ex extension. Now she's denied um, that is government policy but certainly damaged uh, her reputation because it makes people believe that she's simply running down the clock and leaving very little option for any other possibility. She hasn't brought back um, a plan to Parliament to vote on it because she hasn't got that deal yet. The big issues, as we know, are that Brexit backstop and also the customs union as well as, as um, the borders. So she really hasn't sorted that out. That's a big worry. Uh, and people believe that she's playing uh, with the clock and not giving the public the right to decide. Right, Mandy. Thanks very much indeed for joining us for the latest there. And the Brexit saga continues there in Britain.